Nora has it on good authority that rail pirates are hungry after a cold weekend, sweet thing. Check your mags and keep the gas tanks full. Hey everyone, how sit Gowan? Okay. All systems functional. <sighs> Double Affinity Weekend. Hooray! <coughs> Good stuff. Okay, so here's the current state of affairs 10 10 9 10 double affinity weekend let's get that reflex aim not that it's any good but let's get that reflex aim anyway so that we can have 10 10 10 10 intrinsics and I can finally join that small club of people who Rivara farmed and the even smaller club of people who actually legitimately got 10 10 10 10 intrinsics so that's the goal for today uh yesterday I or rather last night it was all about void hole this time we're going to stick to using uh, maybe not tether because we're probably going to end up with some teammates so let's try using shadow burst without using void hole it's gonna be a bit of a weird one but that's okay uh, okay otherwise everything else is more or less the same cool let's get in there I don't know if we'll find any people who wants to play. We'll see. Oh, we do have someone. Whose name is I Hate You Tommy. Let's see if any of my um quote unquote friends are here. Hmm. Okay. Alrighty then. Two. One. Let's go. 
What do you got for uh, dailies? Always a pleasure. Play in a moat. And we're out. Play in a moat. From little things, big things grow. Dream. I believe in you all. Entering operational theater. Hit them until they do not get up. Fighter launch detected. Ogies closing in. Come on. Hey, that's not that bad. Probably a little bit better with uh, Void Hole, but that's not bad. Your cruise ship has translated in sector. I probably say that Shadowverse is difficult to use by itself. Wait, that counted as angle hiding? everyone going today? Like this particular person who has joined us is not particularly keen on using the forward artillery. That's fine. All right, let's see if we can get this regular cruise ship. Alright, the shields are down. Awesome. We have one less crew ship to be concerned with. Glavan Reactor Mark 3. Remaining targets. Sector secure. Not entirely a useful. Mission. everything okay <clears throat> let's go for a much more difficult mission if we will the 
Mission complete. Excellent work, Tenno. Okay. This is a raid. Eliminating priority targets and defensive units will negatively impact enemy cohesion. Fighters on attack vector. Gunners, fire at will. I probably should have gone and, uh... Open up the forge. Actually, do some engineering. Oh, that's okay. Let's do the forge. Lol, the sound is missing. Probably use a dome charger too. That should be fine for now. Shoot this cruise ship down so that it can stop doing tons of damage to us. Though it's not really all that important. <laughs> Do we have other cruise ships? No, just that one. Okay. Cruise ship down. That oh, what a miss. Let's see, we have an Outrider right here. I think Outriders get uh, coned by Seeker Molly. That's kind of nice. Bogies on scope. Good hunting. Looks like we get the nest. Brigadier cruise ship has All right. in. Oh my god, see this is this is the kind of scenario where it would be really good to have something like Void Hole around. Alright. We will make do. We have Shadow Burst. Not that many carbides, that's not helpful. But I don't need carbides to make flux, do I? So we're currently invisible. Bloody healing bubble. Ah! Bloody healing bubble! If anyone ever makes a video, if anyone ever makes a 45 minute rant saying that healing bubbles are really bad for Railjack, I will 100% agree with them. Do you do that video? It's in. Oh my god, is my chat not working again? God damn it. Hello, El Eligardo Rodriguez. Enemy morale has broken. Are peeling off. There we go. We have company. Bring your cruise ship on scope. Ok. 
Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go straight for the objective now. So, here we are. Here for a reason. Oops, my bad. Find out that reason and steal it. Let's see if he goes for it. Ram sleds inbound. Roll out the welcome mat. Get out. Tenno has exited the rail jack. If you're finding your if you're finding rail jack confusing, you've actually come to the right place. What do you need to know? What's confusing you? I'll explain everything. What are the missions for Railjack? Hang on, what? What are the missions of Railjack for? They're they're for fun and they're for getting Railjack. Oh, damn it! I hit the, didn't hit the engine. They're for fun and they're for um getting Railjack bits and pieces. The general the general rewards for Railjack is really intrinsics. That's the overall reward. Uh, then there's like certain. Uh, <clears throat> then there's also like, what is it? Different resources that you that you can collect, which you probably need to collect in order to facilitate its own closed economy. Which kind of is why it needs to be a lot less more, a lot less of a what is it? A content island. Uh, yeah. But overall, the idea is to. Ah, oh, damn it! Come on, thank you. But overall, the idea is that. Oh no, I don't have any. Oh. Okay. Overall, the idea is that you play Railjack to make your Railjack better. Uh, to get the resources to make your railjack better, to get the intrinsics so that you're better with your railjack, that's the idea. Why did I look at the light instead of the camera? Is 
the one thing I don't like about Anastasis, which is that when you use Anastasis, you can't really use anything else. That's uh, kind of bad. <clears throat> uh, Basmu does require Railjack resources, yes. No, it's, it's over. I, hmm? Hold on, I'm gonna have to read that a little bit better. A little bit more closely to figure out what you mean. Hold on, one sec. I can't remember what the requirements for Basmu are. Okay, one sec. in space in Scarlet Spear. Yeah. But wait. Oh. Um you're talking about inside the um you're talking about inside the thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the way that works is that in the Murex in any like Railjack adjacent mission, you can also get Railjack resources. So yeah, it would be technically on the ground, but it'd be on the ground in the Murex or these days on the ground in an anomaly or on the ground inside a cruise ship or on the ground in the objective does that make sense so you can get the railjack resources on the ground it'll just be on the ground inside a, uh, a railjack mission you can get the exact same resources by being in the space part of railjack you can get the exact same resources by being in whatever ground adjacent part of railjack does that make sense let me just check real quick basmo <clears throat> Which I don't actually use because. Mm. I mean, it's a damn strong weapon, especially for like trying to stay alive, but. I just don't use it. Alright, let's have a look at the requirements. So, here are the requirements you need 1,500 copper nicks, which is a very generic resource. Uh, you use, you get that so much, you get so much of that, that you actually, part of the gameplay loop is to actually use them to build flux energy and some other stuff, I think. Um, let me just check, if I jump to my forge. Let me just tell him, one sec. Uh, you use it to produce oh, munitions and flux energy. Oh. Okay, he understands. Awesome. For anyone who's wondering, who's looking to build the Basmu, anyone else who's looking to build the Basmu, Copper Nix are super duper, uh, no, uh, super duper uh, basic, uh, common. Pustules are also super duper common. Isos, not so common. Null stones, rare. But in order to get null stones, you'd probably be breaking rocks. Okay, let's continue. Did the map get fixed? What happened? Let's try this one. Mission complete. Excellent work, Tenno. Oh, I didn't realize this was actually a double up. Whoops. Hey, Katagar. Oh. <laughs> hey, Martin. How's it going? Wow, Shadow Burst by... Yeah, Shadow Burst by itself is actually... Yeah, Shadow Burst by itself is actually pretty good. With luck. I still prefer with Void Hole. I mean, obviously, of course I prefer with Void Hole, of course. Alright, let's move back! Heads up. Ready air crew ship. We've got signals singing the same song as our vi- Ooh! Careful now. Alright, so the Nightwave Blasting, when it comes to Railjack, you can sometimes 
see Nora telling you that there's glass in the... Okay, this guy doesn't know what I'm talking about then. Enemy pilots are panicking. Keep it up. Let's see if this guy can pilot. This guy's confident at all in piloting a ship. He's not confident in piloting. No worries, stay to the guns. So what I'm what I've done is I've actually made my ship invisible. I'm gonna go grab, grab some glass. Uh, apparently Orblade is having a really hard time getting glass. According to a community post that he made, he was quote unquote Cephalites. Time to smash some glass. The enemy have called his mates told him his mates told him to quote unquote max gunnery I'm almost tempted to ask who his mates are maxing gunnery is not a bad idea but I personally prefer tactical Oh, this is not helpful at all. I don't have any energy. Dream, there's gotta be a way to take these things down. Yeah, that's what I'm doing, bros. Operator, that worked. Okay, let's see. Wow. Incredible. More than one breach. Okay, so here's a fun tip for anyone who's new to Railjack. If you need something to take the heat for for you while while you go and do other stuff like my ship kind of needs right now because oh man basically if you take out the pilot of a cruise ship that cruise ship can then be like a sort of sitting duck target oh no way Oh, pro tip! Wait, are we... I don't know why he just went there. Pro tip! If you have an ally who happens to be in the ship, don't use your Omni tool. Uh, use the map. It's a lot faster to get back into the ship. So, pro tip! Pro tip! I actually didn't even know- I actually didn't know that. I actually learned that. That's something new. Okay, clearly the ship needs a, pi um, a pilot, otherwise it's just gonna get blown up. Okay, we're back. Wait, I need it to be a sitting duck. I haven't done the sitting duck thing in ages. So bear with me. I might have gotten it wrong. I think I need to... I think I actually need to pilot it once. Then it is forever a sitting duck. So let's just see. There we go, and no tactical. Damn it. Incoming fighters, get to stations. Oh, for real? We're out of Revelite again?
How do we? How are we out of rebel line again? Oh my god. <laughs> I've completely screwed up. <laughs> Too much dicking around. We can't fix it. <laughs> I was unprepared. I will consider this and improve. <laughs> Come on home. Oh, failed. Failed. Too busy trying to get glass. Damn. Too busy trying to get glass. Need another pilot. Or rather, need someone to just move the ship around. Oof. 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 Let's get an F in the chat, boys. F's in the chat. Tenno, disembarking. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> Definitely the 100 Revelite requirement is pretty damn hardcore. So, let's see. Maybe I'll have to actually, re maybe I should uh, replace something with Reva Reducer because Reva Reducer is pretty damn strong. Uh, Reva Reducer, where are you? Where are you? Six. It's a sixer, isn't it? Revo reducer. Oh my god. Revo reducer. Yeah, it's a sixer. By 25. 25%. Did it get nerfed? Did it get nerfed? What the hell? This guy's looking for eye sauce. I can't remember if you get it from. Is it from All Railjack or is it. Oh, it is from All Railjack. Okay. Yeah. You get it from All Railjack. Uh, it just needs frankly look listen this is the thing if you want your railjack to survive you just need a pilot someone who is always there to be the pilot what we did what we did wrong is i spent too long not being the pilot does that make sense when your railjack is just sitting there without a pilot it it, it gon' die and when it gon' die you then use a hundred uh, revelite and if you don't manage your forge properly as we didn't do as we did rather i don't know what's the correct nomenclature we didn't manage our forge properly and that's why things kinda died so uh yeah that kind of happened whoops Whoops! Ah, uh, my bad. Too busy grabbing glass. I think what D should do before this, before the next wave of, before the next week of um, or, or rather, it would happen after rail, uh, after next week's rail, uh, rail jack, uh, night wave, refresh. I think what they should do is they should make it so that if you blow up a cruise ship that contains or could p contain enemies that are glassed, then the glass sort of drops out as if it was a normal resource. I think that would be a really, really good idea because that way it would give more incentive to use and learn how to use the forward artillery and then reward players who actually know how to use the forward artillery. That way, faster get glass, don't have to do all that shenanigans. Maybe, maybe at a lower rate if you blow them up with the uh, forward artillery. I don't know. Thinking out loud. We are on their boards. Look alive.
guy join my ship and then think, Oh my god, it's a 1,000 health ship. Oh no, so noob. Wait. Bro, we're waiting for you. Oh, that was that was shot too early. That was detonated too early. Squad renew! Not particularly powerful in my opinion. That's just my opinion though. I might be wrong. I don't really use it all that much. What the hell? We were in catastrophic mode the entire time? Oh! Oh! How did this happen? What is going on? Am I drunk? Deals meals. Wow, what is this amateur hour that I'm experiencing right now? I just realized I have no crowd control. I have I haven't actually used any crowd control. That's probably why I normally put um void hole up with shadow burst. Want to buy corpus railjack? When is that coming? Enemy yeah, man, you and me both. Damn! What's doing so much damage to my ship? Crew ship. Something is doing a lot of damage to my shield. This is actually very unusual. Alert. Enemy crew ship has translated into the sector. Some people would say, oh yeah, well your crew Yeah, well your ship's doing your ship's only got a thousand health. We oh it's the breach! That's the reason. Oh my god, three bloody skulls. Are you kidding? interested in using the forward artillery? Anyone? No? You people are hilarious. <clears throat> okay, well at least we know that a breach. Like a minor breach. Crew ship has gone by On the by. off chance that it actually happens, is a pretty big deal. Boom. Crew ship eliminated. Focus on remaining targets. Cause that was quite we unusual. One less crew ship to be concerned with. Direct attention next. to remaining targets. Ah, it's too far away. Ship reinforcement has arrived. Cruise ship reactor has detonated. Pretty. One. Oh, damn it. Wait, will it kill the will it kill the shield? We should probably go let's go nice and close to it to see. No glass, no glass, Nora? Okay. What, did Joker want in? Oof. Ship down. That clears up some space. Wait, that was a freebie! Here in disarray. Sector secured. 
Nice. Successful. Uh, let's grab those avionics, see if we get that tower velocity, because that's the last of the new integrated avionics that I still don't bloody have. Still don't bloody have. Alright, we're the four-man crew. Let's go R9 crowd. Uh, the R9 cloud is going to have an anomaly up, which means we might, we might end up with like three bloody objectives. Let's find out. Maybe. Grenier have eyes on something. Oh no, it's two. I do okay. not like the sound of this. Investigate. Fighters incoming. Keep them off the ship. <laughs> okay, something something's doing a lot of damage to my ship. This is very unusual. It's, this is nothing like yesterday. Last night, last night I don't even think I got a single major breach, did I? I might have gotten one or two. But today we're getting tons. Wait, don't tell me Shadow Burst does self damage. That's the only difference. This would be hilarious if Shadow Burst. No, Shadow Burst doesn't do bloody self damage or anything. I don't know what's. I don't know, this is very strange. But I guess I should probably put that bulkhead up then. like to get someone who actually either A knows how to pilot the ship or B is confident with using the Vault Artillery. <laughs> that way we're not sitting ducks, but it's not like this is too difficult. Oh, we have a pilot. Okay. He wants in? Go for it, buddy. He's not up for it. We have a whole rupture. Full on One left. Come on, artillery cheap shot! I need you, man! Oh, someone's building it. Excellent! Excellent! They just shot now. Okay, I actually don't need to shoot any missiles because they're all Gokstads, which means they are easier to kill. Here's the thing I don't understand about Gokstads and Skulls. Skulls have a shield, but otherwise there's the skulls are essentially Gokstads with shields. I feel like skulls, if they're going to be balanced against Gokstads, because it just kind of seems a bit weird. Despite the fact that this is already easy enough as is, like I don't necessarily this isn't necessarily for balancing versus us reasons, but balancing versus each other reasons. Skulls are literally just Gokstads with shields, so they're just 
going to be Forever 21 by definition more difficult than um, Gokstad. Whereas, what I think should happen is that Gokstad retain the amount of armor that they have. So, that means if you want to kill level 40 without shooting its engine, uh, using the forward artillery, you're going to have to strip its armor. Whereas, Skulls have next to no armor. The whole thing is that they have a shield. I don't know. Or maybe Skulls can't be... I don't know. Because it's not like the shield is something that you can just straight up bypass. I don't know, what do you guys reckon? Okay, so we've got someone in there. Who wants to be in there? structure sentient prepare to board sweep and clear bingo crew trash that radiator one Is he farming down make it two i don't know what he's is he exploring or is he farming Weak point exposed. Open fire. What do you mean? Oh jeez. Destroy the core. Now. What do you mean I'm okay? I don't want to be in the anomaly. It's an objective. You're in or you're in. That's the point. <coughs> it's about to freak out like what do you mean catastrophic failure imminent again? Come on, let's fight some sentience. Atta boy. Hit and run. Good job. Let's move on. Dead end. Moshi moshi, sentient what? Oh, this way. Nope, that's also a dead end. Ah, here's a familiar area. Here we go. That's a dead end. That's actually a hole in the ground. Whoa. Ah! 
Didn't even know my shield went down. Didn't even realize. I mean, I should have known, but I didn't even really notice. immune node. Damn, even with those adaptations, we're still doing 15 something thousand damage. What did I back into? A bloody wall. Oh, that's cute. They're actually going for the end part. Okay, we're gonna confuse them. Ah, <laughs> not all Levan engines. They're gonna go outside, and then they're gonna be like, Hey, where's the ship? Look at him. Look at him. He doesn't know where the ship is. Uh, hey guys. Where's the ship? Where is it? Where are you going, bro? Where are you going? Where's the ship? Ship's gone, eh? Where is it? Doesn't know. Ah, he's lost too. Where's the ship? Wait, is that it? No, that's not it. Where's the ship? He's in the ship, so he's fine. But these two are like, just lost. Eyes open. There's glass resonance in your neighborhood. Oh, lol, I was... Really? Oh, he's finally figured it out. Wait, what do you mean there's glass resonance in our frequent? How? What do you mean there's glass near us? What the hell? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Buddy! <laughs> nice meme! Okay, I think what's happened is... There might be some, there might be some glass happening inside this thing here. Let's have a look. Moshi moshi, Tarika, Tarika, you must car. Is anyone alive? Everyone's dead, right? See if anyone needs a glass. Oh, this is new. Living quarters. I don't know what Nora is talking about. I think that was just a meme. Alright, let's move on. Oh, no, 
another job well executed. Nor was late. <laughs> yeah, a few minutes too late. How long did that particular? Oh, I don't know. Looks like the Grenier are feeling lucky. Good hunting. Alert. Enemy fighters have been scrambled. Uh, cheers, Elga El Eligardo. Cheers, El cheers, mate. Are you aware of my... Of what I'm called? What I... I think I'm the only one who ever uses this build. Because I'm the only one who came up with it. Possibly. Are you aware of the 5000 IQ Platinum Arrow Mag build? It's like... Proprietary knowledge of me. Are you aware of this? Enemy cruise ship has arrived. They are powering weapons. 5000 IQ build, in my opinion, is the single best potential mag build possible. The single best mag build possible, in my opinion. I will show you the build later. Seriously, nobody wants to use the forward artillery as if they don't want to use the big fat, the big fat space laser. Oh, someone's keen! Oh, let's see if he aims for the engines. Will he get him? He missed! He hit something, but he missed. Ooh, bad luck. Aim for the engines. Anymore, eh? Tried it once. Never again, huh? Don't be like that. Oh my god. Alright. Okay. We're in Bruce Warfield, and there's several ways to go uh, around that. Uh, Crucial, rather. The first one is to strip its armor, like so. You can see that the gunners are also getting in on it. This means that. No matter which way you shoot, you're going to kill it. Heads up. Ready to crow shoot. Everyone usually gets it wrong. Why? It's very phonetic. I mean, sure, it's of a different language, but it's not like the letters are suddenly sounding slightly different. Well, I mean, they do sound a little bit different. Come on! Oh no, I didn't hit the engines! Oh, we're about to get ramps led. Unless someone... Ah, we got Ramsley. Okay. Commanded. Well, you come to my orders. you come to my ship, you get the magnetized bubble. Dead. Just like that. Oh my god, look at all of those lovely, lovely drops. Come and I gotta go pick them all up. Here's the thing when it comes to, here's the thing when it comes to me pronouncing seemingly for what the hell, who sent me a message? Oh, here's the thing when it comes to me pronouncing seemingly foreign words, I like to put the accent on as well. Uh, and depending on the language I also like to roll my R's for example, really put an emphasis on some of the um, letters. So I see your name and I say, Eligardo, but <laughs> maybe that's wrong, I don't know. T 
teachers? What did they say? Eli Gar Eli Garrido or something? Like what what the hell do you say? How, how do you how do you mispronounce that? It's like looking at my well, oh, no, my See if I can get all three of them on the screen at the same time. We are now invisible. Let's kick some ass. Okay, fun thing. I only have to kill two of these. I think. Because we're gonna go to the hangar now. <clears throat> we're gonna go to the hangar. Which kind of means I don't actually need to do the thing. They say Elizardo. Elizardo! How do you read a G Are they American? How do you read a G as an S? How does that happen? That makes no sense. Alrighty. Strange place for a hangar. Find out why it is here. Down south. <sighs> Round slides inbound. Well, there's Prepare your first mistake. Yeah, yeah, we down south. We don't know no Alejandro. We just know the guy who's sort of maybe pseudo Mexican, but we don't really know he's Mexican or not. He's just kind of there, just some dude. Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! F's in the chat, boys. Oh no! <laughs> I am very much moving. I am moving very much away from where I'm supposed to be going. Open fire. Oh no. See if I can get out of this loop. Radiator exposed. Open fire. What did I hit? I just flew 17 kilometers away. What the hell? RD facility. Steal the command crew ship. Oh I my god. Of everything. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> back to the ship. Time to parse these millions of files. Meantime, enjoy your new chest. I've never done that before. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, that's the way. <laughs> I hit the invisible wall. <coughs> that's a new one. That's a new one. It's not a bug necessarily. I think it's just like coding that never took into account the potential for someone to actually enter the other space while you are still doing that. This thing happens in Heroes we of the Storm all the damn time, man. This thing happens in Heroes of the Storm all the damn time. We always get these um, WTF moment compilations that will every so what? What the hell? Did someone actually just throw out some? Anyway. Wow, we got a rush repair, Joe. That's actually super duper rare. Even though I don't need it. <clears throat> Unwelcome visitors inbound. Prepare to repel. I will say this though. The fun thing about the rush repair drone, you can kind of look at it as a giant bunch of free really really rare resources um, so what you want to do is you want to take that drone you want to make sure that you're building you make you want to you find a piece of scrap that is using a lot of a specific resource that you're looking for you can use the rush repair drone to build it and then executed. scrap it scrap it and you get a bunch of resources back uh, nowadays it's 80% of the build cost, but because you never built it, you're actually getting free resources. So, that's a thing. The Grenier have deployed a ship killer platform to this sector. That explains the lack of civilian radio traffic. Take it down. Detected. Single person attack craft. Oh my god. Prepare to engage. My missiles! Uh, 
only a space bug zapper. Yeah, I guess so. Wow, our engineer is really diligent. That's good. <clears throat> One second. Stream highlight. Uh, the big hunt. Okay. For those who play Heroes of the Storm, you'll know what I mean when I say that was a stream highlight. It's called the big hunt. Didn't know that could be done. I have four left. Okay. Let me clarify. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Because I haven't done it in the past three months. I did it like twice at the very start of Railjack. Just because I figured it actually worked. And I think at one point you had like two. Oh my god. I figured at one point you had like two. So I gave it a go. Because it's not like the we it's not like the things that are there. It's not like the things that you make are hard coded to remember that you made them using a rough repair drone. Once you make them, they're essentially treated as if they're like normal weapons that you normally make anyway. <clears throat> so I actually did it. I actually tried it twice. Oh, that's why we're dying, because the bloody sp uh, ship killer platform. That's why we're dying. So, yeah, if you've got a ship killer platform and it's right next to you, do not be surprised if you end up dying constantly, as we are doing right now. Ship killer platform does a ton of damage. Flames extinguished. Fighters on scope. Take them down wholesale. The enemy have called in a crew ship. Situation evolving. Tenno deployed. Enemy squadrons have maintained pressure. Oh, where the hell did that missile go? Just went off to take a city break. Blows up on the ship killer platform, does nothing. Well, I'm going around in circles, that's going to be confusing. Oh, we have a minor breach, that's why. Bingo. Crew, trash that radiator. Crew, boarding party is packing explosives. Ooh, packing explosives. Get out of my ship then. Radiator down. Away crew, expose the next radiator. Marking sensitive systems. Trash the place. You don't want to get hit by the ship killer. Ruptures. The reason why it's called ship killer. Attention needed. Ship secured. I've fought all the time, so I don't know any references you're talking about, Fred. Fires extinguished. I'll be back, gotta make a snack. Ah! Oh. oh crap! Oh, cool. <clears throat> Can someone? Oh, I need to destroy the second radiator. Ship killer platform refers to this big thing right here. This platform right here. The, the laser that it shoots does a ton of damage so what you want to do is you want to complete this particular objective really really quickly otherwise if your ship gets lasered by it it gonna take a ton of damage now there's ways to avoid the laser and one of them is to for example hide right under the platform in which case you essentially have a lot less freedom of mobility to move around in because basically you'll find yourself in a situation oh crap that was a mistake you'll find yourself in a situation where <clears throat> if you move outside of that area you're gonna get lasered but if you happen to be inside that area you're gonna get hit by cruise ships cruise ships do tend to do a little bit more damage than they should well no not that they should cruise ships tend to do a lot more damage than obviously fighters 
We got a guy in a route in an arc wing. Is he uh Is he keen to blow up a cruise ship? He's not in one. Oh, that's a miss. <laughs> Come on! Got it. Got it blind. Boom. <clears throat> Cruise ship eliminated. Focus on remaining targets. Grenier Cruise ship has translated the sector. You know what I wish this- and you know what I wish existed in Railjack? A portable mini dry dock. Hell, even a portable mini dry dock that was effectively Railjack defense? You're defending the portable mini dry dock, but part of the gameplay is that you can Dock your ship moment or no? Forget. Uh, you can you can jump into it and essentially throw out what would effectively be like a care package. Shoot, sort of send out one of the battle avionics, for example, and essentially swap your abilities mid-game. I think. Oh crap! I think if that kind of thing happened for like a railjack defense mission. That would be pretty dope. Oh, he's keen. Oh, boys. Okay, ready. Are you ready, guys? He's keen. Aim for the engines. Is he keen? Oh, he's not keen anymore. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get in there. He's not keen. Ah, oh, he's not keen anymore, guys. Rip. I guess I'll do it then. I miss? How did I miss? Oh my god! <laughs> Amateur hour. Wow, I'm really screwing up today. Ramsdale launch detected. Looks like a party. We have one less crew ship to be concerned with. <laughs> that was that was atrocious. Getting so many engines. Ship killer neutralized. Suggest we move on. <clears throat> All right. Uh, let's go grab those things. Did I ever get that friggin' turret velocity? You get it from killing outriders, apparently. But I don't think I ever got the bloody thing. Incoming ram sleds about to ring the doorbell. Why are there ram sleds? This thing is dead. Physics do I have? I have exactly enough intrinsics now to get 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Alright everyone. It's that time. We're gonna go back to the dry dock. Because it's that time. Witness history. Excellent work, Tenno. Witness the history when it loads. Hmm. 
<coughs> I don't know if I should do this now. Ah, I'll just do it now. Witness. Oh. I guess it just stops afterwards. Boom. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 intrinsics. Boom. We're done. That's the way. I have now completed the current intrinsics trees. Now waiting for Commander to show up. Railjack is really damn fun. I highly recommend it to anyone who is looking to play it. For now, we're going to take a break from Railjack. Not, not a break as in I'm not going to play for the next three months, no. We're just going to take a break in the stream from Railjack and actually do my sorties. So, 10, 10, 10. Oops. 10, 10, 10. Saving the last 512 for Commander when it drops us. Okay, here's the thing, by the way. When Command actually shows up, According to DE, there's going to be like a full reset of your reset and refund of your intrinsics. So you don't actually have to save them necessarily. You can actually just hold, you can actually just do it. And then later on, you can actually um, put the 512 into Commander afterwards. Does that make sense? <clears throat> Hello, Ghost Flare Ops. Anyway, yeah, you don't necessarily need to actually do the thing. Um, oh. Let's do the thing with the bloody thing that I was talking about. So. So, for example, here's a Vidar Reactor Mark III. I c oh, I have two Rush Repair Drones. Okay, I'm going to use one to build that. Uh... I'm going to use the other one. I'm going to use the other one. Asteroid Fresnels. I wait, what did I just build? I just built a weapon. So a weapon normally requires Asteroid <coughs> Brachoid Isos Isos. What 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 what, 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 what at what point is Isos used again? I can't remember. Well, that, no, that should be the same. Engines? Nope. Hmm. Hold on, what is used to build- what is ISOS used to build? Cause I think I don't have that many. Where is the best place to farm for weapons? What 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 kind of weapons? You're gonna have to be a bit more specific. Sigma Mark Two, Levan Mark One, Vidal Mark One, Zetki Mark One, Mark One. Hmm. Quantity. Basm. Sigma Mark Two Shield. That's not helpful. Sigma Mark Two. Apoc Carcinox. Zetki. Zetki Mark One. Hey. Okay. How many ice horses do I have? I sauce. How much I sauce do I have? A thing that I barely use. Oh, I have 6,000. I'll be fine. <coughs> I mean, couldn't hurt to get more, but. Sig Fresnels. I got a thousand of them. Could probably use more Fresnels. What are the good weapons? The best weapons. The best of what kind, though? What are you talking about? This is this is this is Warframe. This isn't like Destiny. You're gonna have to be a bit more specific. What kind of weapon are you looking for? Are you looking for, say, a regular Warframe weapon? Are you looking for, say, a Railjack weapon? What do you what do you, what, what do you want to know? I'm a, 
your question is a bit incomplete. <clears throat> I'll hold on to the bloody thing, actually. You need the huge asteroid. How many? I have plenty of asteroids, don't I? I know I used a bunch. I know I used. I kept using like 500 and 500 of them to build bloody railjack weapons. Okay. Wait. Am I going nuts? What do I use to for asteroid for? Ah. Oh my god. Okay, I definitely need more asteroid. That's for sure. So we're gonna use this on that. Now. If I scrap this. See, if I scrap this Levant engines that I just made, I just randomly made with the rush repair drone, I get a thousand asteroid for free. It's free resources. Okay, the best the best places to farm uh or rather what are the what are the good weapons? Okay. <clears throat> In my opinion, the best, the the weapons you want to use in Railjack are Apox, Photors, Pulsars, and do I not have a random? Do I not have a normal Carcinox? No, Carcinoxes. In other words, everything outside of a Cryophan. <laughs> Why? Because I think Cryophans are shit. Why? Because they're slow shooting. And why does that matter? Because there are things called healing bubbles in the veil. Cryophans are completely useless against healing bubbles in the veil. You want to shoot them down, otherwise you're going to have a really hard time killing anything if they're really close to a healing bubble. Granted, the cryophan does do a lot of damage as a single shot weapon, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Furthermore, when we eventually get to like level 100 um, railjack content, Hopefully soon, because right now it's too easy, but hopefully soon, when we get to that level 100 Railjack content, you're probably going to need something that can strip armor to strip some armor off a cruise ship, because you might not be able to kill it just by hitting its engines. With the forward artillery, that is. The Cryophan is the only weapon that can't strip armor. You need a weapon that can do plasma damage in order to do any plasma procs. The Pulsar strangely enough does plasma damage as you can see right there the photo does plasma damage a little bit but does plasma damage the apoc is actually pretty king when it comes to stripping armor and doing extra damage with your forward artillery in that it does plasma and particle procs particle procs increase the damage that a target takes i personally prefer to just use the um, carcinox anyway because of the higher status chance that a carcinox typically has over an apoc um, for example, his ZK APOC, only 10% crit uh, only 10% status chance. That's kind of crap, in my opinion. So, you know, that's kind of how I go. Uh, oh, actually, there's Levan car there's Levan APOCs. They're actually pretty damn strong, aren't they? APOC. I don't have one. I think they're. I think Levan APOCs have like 20 something percent. Taken. Uh, break. Gonna do my sorties. Um, Levan Apox tend to have... <coughs> Levan Apox tend to have, I think, quite a decent status chance. Don't quote me on that. Don't quote me on that. I might be wrong. Uh, but yeah. Apox are pretty good as well. You can shoot, you can use them if you want. Otherwise, cast Nox. I feel like that's the way to go. They're a lot faster. And they have higher status chance, which means you can really pile on those plasma procs real easy. And also chem damage is pretty good too, because the chem proc is essentially a radiation proc, so yeah, other fighters tend to start hitting it. Um, was there anything I wanted to do with this? Solo play, I'm gonna go back to Tether. Okay! Sorties! <sighs> 85? What? 
No, 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 that's not true. Oh yeah, by the way, there is a thing where if you don't, if you have too much scrap, you can't join a railjack mission. Rip, rip that guy. So uh, let's see. Uh, agenda. Okay, there we go. <coughs> the Tano are lost, and they will resist. But I no defense. Okay. Let's uh switch gears. Oh crap! He's got a freaking sniper rifle on. Don't need this anymore. Hmm. Yeah, regular cast knocks is fine. You probably want to use a branded cast knocks. Branded, not school. Has been counting stars, this isn't All like using an operator. Oldie but a goodie. Let's use the Bratton Prime. Oh man. Oh, I should probably swap that. The Bratton Prime. <sighs> anyone ever use this? Anyone use this weapon in the last? However, bloody holy crap! This build is f this build is atrocious. <laughs> what the hell am I? What the hell am I doing with this build? <laughs> this. Oh man, let's uh, damn, what was I thinking with this build? I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, that's right, I wasn't thinking. Oof. Two former. When did I even have the time and or energy to put in two former? Corrosive blast or viral radiation? Viral radiation, always. Excellent armaments. Let's use this little pew pew gun. I have a, Oh yeah, I should use the cross. I should I should definitely use viral radiation. Bloody pew pew gun. I haven't used it in bloody ages. Syndicate missions, arc gun. Oh! For the Wait, can I use arc gun? No, I can't. Oh, bugs! Can't use arc gun in a assault rifle only sortie. Damn it! This is a minor defense mission. You must deliver payloads and defend a number of locations while I break into the network. Be prepared for heavy resistance. I can't do this without you. Mission reached. Drop me in and defend our position. I'm in, Tenno. This will take a moment. And three, two, one. Get in here! Photon repeater! Aya! Get in here! Get in here! I don't know how I was able to hit ten people Still all the time. That was Continue to That's surprising. Three, two, one. Get in here. Grinding, grading video on Nova, Nova slash Prime. Yeah, sure, definitely. I actually have used Nova more than I've used Zephyr, so yeah, I'll, I'll do one eventually. Um, eventually. Granted, I haven't used her in a while, so I'll probably have to get back to using her for like a week first before I do it. Terminal hacked. Keep moving. I need access to a terminal. Find Did everything Ashmian. just die? Thanks to the power of one of these augments? That's that's nice.
Here is a terminal. Get me in and get ready to defend. You know what's interesting about those grading videos? This will take a moment. Every time I think about it, I, I I'm hesitant about doing some extremely popular warframes because I just know I just already know that the score that I'm going to give them is going to be surprisingly low. I just know it's going to cuz cuz they're just not that <laughs> they're just not that well thought out in my opinion. Like there's just some warframes where I just know the moment I do the video on them, it's gonna be like 90% dislike. It's gonna be like 300 comments. Oh, you don't, you just, you just, you, you, you just don't know how to play the game, man. It's just gonna happen. It's just it's just gonna happen, isn't it? There's no there's no avoiding it. We and I can't really do anything here. about it. Move on. Ugh. Terminal spotted. Upload me and prepare to <clears throat> Tenno. This will take a moment. Man, I must have scared the enemies out. They're not interested in fighting me anymore. Where are they? Oh man, I have a I have a freebie. That's the way. working on it. Continue to defend. What game mode would you want? Um, uh, what game mode do I want added into Railjack? Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> into Railjack. Um, that pretty much gives away the answer, eh? More Railjack modes. Railjack Defense, Railjack Survival, Scarsby already had the right idea with Railjack Mobile Defense, except they did it wrong because it made no sense. In the sense that, again, the bloody thing, when the friggin' def um, satellite defense thing, when you're carrying it, it's bloody invulnerable. But when you, oh, sorry, when you carry it, it's bloody vulnerable. But when you don't carry it, it's bloody invulnerable. That makes no bloody sense. Um, I'd like to see a raid, cause duh, like who doesn't want to see a raid? <clears throat> it's, just a, it's just unfortunate that when we had raids of some form, they just kept taking so much time out of the, the uh, out of D's uh, day, I guess, to fix, cause they were constantly bugged or broken or something rather. It's, it's unfortunate. It was, it was a shame, especially. Like, here's the thing, Jordan's verdict, for all its flaws of being just, like, hilariously overcomplicated, with, like, 15 different things that you have to remember to do for, like, the final stage, I think it was, that's kind of dope. Not gonna lie, that's actually kind of dope. For a raid, you have, like, so many steps that you have to do, separates the boys from the men. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe not 15 steps. Maybe 7 steps. Time. 7 things that the entire team of 8 people, by the way, the have to remember. I don't know. I wanted to change the wisp. Damn it.
but yeah, just more Railjack modes. More Railjack modes, so that people who complain about Railjack eventually be like, oh, Fine, I'll try to get through it. Who died? Who died? Oh yeah, Eidolon is really nice. Eidolons are real nice. I think more Eidolon type stuff could be cool too. But with that, you get uh, orbs. Orbs are nice, especially as Exploiter. Exploiter is pretty cool to fight. More of that stuff. I'm up for that. Just, yeah. Uh, Disruption's nice too. Although. Actually, no. Disruption is pretty cool too. I just don't play it all that much. Um, just, just cuz. But Additional I wouldn't say it's I would never say it's bad. It's actually pretty cool. I do like the speed of it. Ah. Uh, what's this for disruption? Yeah, apparently the rewards are real nice. I suppose Cooper disruption is actually probably the best one um, because we always want Cooper. I haven't done one in ages though. Reused rewards, which were arcanes. The thing about the arcane rewards wasn't that they were reused; it was just that it obviously it completely tanked the market, which kind of hilarious. Um, <clears throat> I don't mind that it used arcanes for rewards. Uh, I think I think ultimately that was the right idea, especially with the changes to arcanes, and that you needed like. Just more than double in order to max them out again. For not really double the. I think. I think. Mm, for not exactly double the power, you needed double the arcanes to max out, if that makes sense. Oh, that was meaty. <coughs> My bad. Oh, that was meaty. That particular, that particular one was the kind of one that just like get in, get in my belly, you know. What's this waypoint? Is that the exit?
Boy, Necros, this is this is my this is my realm. So uh, piss off. <clears throat> like kindly piss off, guys. Is he <coughs> is he literally just using the bloody thing? At least, by the way, love the warfare videos. Yeah, no worries. Oh, bloody hell, I keep picking the wrong bloody thing. Yeah, that's what happened, buddy. Whoa, they both died? How did that happen? <laughs> and one of them is a Valkyr. Wow, that's kind of depressing. Hang on, let me just send a friend a message. Volban looks OP. Yeah, Volban is pretty damn strong now. Yeah, now is definitely a good time to be the train man. The only, obviously the only ability with Volban that's questionable in its use of usefulness is friggin' Vector Pad, like, otherwise. Uh, oh, bloody hell. I'm trolling myself. <clears throat> I don't know if I said it to you, if I said it to someone else, but I... Wait. Is this guy hacking? How many arrows did he just shoot? With the Kuva Brahma! Mission complete. Excellent work, Tenno. Anyway, 
Um, I don't know if I said this to you or someone else, but basically what I think with Zephyr, the main thing with Zephyr is that her passive is kind of useless. Running out of time. Consider extraction. I would like to see her passive change to something like Zephyr does more damage when she's in the air. Because then, like I said in that comment, uh, a lot of her abilities make a lot more sense. In particular, Tailwind. You use that Tailwind hover, you're suddenly doing more damage. If it's like 200% damage, I think that'd be pretty dope. If it's like... <coughs> 500% more damage. Oh, that would be super cool. Last time you re last time you visited Volbad, nothing good came out of it. Uh, since the rework, since the very since the rework, I guess like very much since then, what's happened is um his Fletched Fletched Orb now actually scales. So even against high level enemies, it does a lot more damage. So that's pretty good. <clears throat> like it's no wisp, but it's it's actually useful. Alright everyone, put on some sunglasses, it's gonna get bright. Banshee, Titanial, Avara, Wisp, Banshee. That's an interesting choice, cause I don't think I personally don't think Banshee's all that good. Like damage-wise, she's all right, but obviously she's like the probably the squishiest Warframe out of all of them. Crackerjaw's okay. For support, so she's not really a team player. Arcane Ultimatum? Oh, that's that, um... Isn't that one that, um, happens on finishes? I can't remember. Off the top of my head. What's my build for Wisp? It's actually rather generic. I would probably say it's rather generic. But anything on Wisp is pretty good. Broken their ranks and they are on the run. Another successful mission. I'll have a look in a sec. Plus a 
plus 15. Oh. I feel, uh, okay, here's, okay, let me, explain to me how you use Rezo Quake, because every time I try to use Rezo Quake, it, looks, it seems really, really bad. Wait, did these two seriously die to a bloody crewman? Is that for real? And he just tapped out? Is this guy serious? Are you kidding me? To a crewman? Y'all died to a bloody crewman? Neja died to a crewman. Is there a reason why you're using Resoquake and not just using Sonic Fra Sonic Boom? Wouldn't Sonic Boom basically fill that gap as well, or is Resoquake actually cheaper? Or is it more the 360 degree thing? In which case, I guess Resoquake is cheaper. I don't know. I forgot to use um thing I Sonic film feels like chains of horror doesn't protect you 100 percent of the time. Mm, okay, fair enough. Uh, Alright, let's see. What Oh I was going to show you guys a couple of builds. Alright, so, by the way, who was asking about the 5000 IQ Platinum Arrow build? Or rather, who was asking about my mag build? Is my game broken right now? This is new. 5,000 IQ, IQ, uh, 5,000 IQ plant the marrow build. Okay. The aura could be whatever you want because I have an aura former on it. So use whatever you want. Prime sure footed or use whatever Exilus mod you want. Streamline. Hell yeah. Stretch. Hell yeah. Uh, umbral vitality. Umbral intensify. Hell yeah. That's why this is a 7 former build because this was already 5 former before those umbral former showed up. Uh, Prime continuity. Hell yeah. Magnetized Discharge, Counter Pulse, Fracturing Crush, all super duper good. And the reason why that this is really, really powerful is because I have 155% power strength. That means that Fracturing Crush is almost at its absolute peak. Uh, any higher, any more um, power strength outside of 160% power strength is actually pointless. Like, it won't actually do anything for Fracturing Crush. In the meantime, we're using really high duration for- Well, not really high duration, we're using higher than 100% power duration, which is normally, like, not something you want to do for mag, but we're using it for Counter Pulse. So Counter Pulse is being- is able to jam enemy weapons for a whopping- What is it? Six? Operator, did you oh. hear that? Oh! Said... Oh no. Cosmic background oh. radiation is a riot! <gasps> I almost screwed myself up. Uh, Polarize can now jam any weapons for 6.2 seconds. 
great. Also, Magnetize Discharge, super duper powerful. Magnetize Discharge is the reason why we can use 155% power strength. Counterpulse is the reason why we want to use 155% power strength. Does that make sense? All right, cool, awesome. In the meantime, the Wisp build. Very generic one former Wisp build. There we go. It's generic. Stretch, hell yeah. Streamline, hell yeah. Intensify, hell yeah. Rage, because I think um, I think Wisp could be could do well as a weight rage tank. 156% power duration, 185% power strength, otherwise pretty generic efficiency range. Yeah. Lots of all that. Um wait, why am I using Arcane Victory? really need that. Arcane Rage, Arcane Barrier, Arcane Awakening, uh, Arcane Grace, it's totally unnecessary. Guardian, let's use that. Yeah. Alright, let's see. <clears throat> uh Wait, why you need range on Wisp? Just cuz. So the reason why I want to have range on Wisp is because Breach Search. Yes. Yes, I know. Breach Surge does have that double range if you use it on uh, a boat. So that would probably be the reason why you don't really need range on Wisp. But I don't really use that that often, especially in a normal mission. In defense missions, yes. And there's also like the double thing, the double double thing with um, Breach Surge and Will O Wisp, but I don't really use it all that much, real talk. So, I kind of just put it there. I mean, that's really the flex mod, right there. Wait, why am I not using Hunter Adrenaline? That's the big question. It's broken. Um, yeah. That's the flex mod, though. So, I could swap it out for, like, an augment, if it shows up. But otherwise, I feel like having, um, having some range on Wisp is probably a good idea. But if people don't like the idea of using range on Wisp, that's entirely up to you. You could use something like... Well, for me, I can't actually use anything because my friggin' UI is broken. Although range is actually kind of annoying on Wisp sometimes. Oh well. What else to do? What else to do? Hmm. Oh, that's right. Back in the old days, before I decided to put Bloody Vitality on it, there was a reason why I had that mod on earlier. That's right. Now I remember. I had something like, no, this. Oh, that's why I didn't have... Yeah, okay, now I remember everything. Where's Rage? Okay, now I remember what happened. This is what I did. That's what I did. Do you have any guide on how... No. That's what I did, but I felt like this was not effective because first off, it basic because you needed energy in order to get that health mode. 
And I don't know, maybe I was a bit dumb, but I keep forgetting to put a uh, health mode down. So once I get that 300 health, uh, once I'm down to 300 health and I don't have any energy left, I feel like I'm dead. So what I did was I kind of just did that. And I felt like that's fine. But yeah. It's A build. Not the build. A build. Alrighty. Let's have a look at... Alright, let's have a look at that build. Oh, crap, I can't. There's something wrong with my UI. Probably jump into another mission first. I need you to sabotage this ship's reactor. The reactor is a complex system. Start by removing the coolant. Ah, oh, bloody hell. My intel suggests there are enemy supply caches in the area, but I am unable to pinpoint <laughs> their exact location. Search them out if you are willing to shoulder the added risk. Never stop moving. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, with with um <laughs> too distracted. That was that was complete. That was that was atrocious. <laughs> that was bloody atrocious. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, is my UI fixed yet? I'm gonna restart the game. Uh, power drift, swift momentum. Duration, duration, range, rezo quake. Prime flow. Prime flow. Prime flow is a bit of an interesting one, but uh, okay, yeah, sure. Wait, what, hang on. No, hang on. Sorry, real quick. Why Prime Flow? I feel like I don't. I personally don't use the Flow type uh, mods unless there is a way to get energy really, really easily. So things like being a Rage Tank, that will mean that I use Flow. Things like Garuda is the reason why I use Flow. Is there a particular reason why you're using Flow on Banshee of all people? Well put together, Operator. Is it just Energize? I mean, that's probably uh, fine, but is it just sound. Energize? Wait, you you're not using streamline in that build. I think it might be a better idea to use streamline than prime flow. I need you to sabotage this ship's reactor. Mm. The reactor is a complex system. Start by removing the coolant cells. My it suggests there are rich enemy supply caches in the area, but I am unable to find their exact location. Search them out if you are willing to shoulder added risk. boys yeah I don't use I don't use generic all that much either oh crap What 
is that thing? Listen, the machines are coming to life. There's Kuva in the air. The resonance frequency has changed. You are onto something, Tenno. Is there a reason why you've got caps lock on? Or are you just in a very excitable mood today? Uh, Warframes that don't need flow. I think the better question is Warframes that specifically could need flow. Warframes that don't need flow, mag. That worked. Your like, yeah, mag. Target the other Kuva cloud. I mean, you can always use flow on any Warframe after you've used something like Streamline or Fleeting Expertise, if that's worth it. Obviously, some Warframes don't want to use Fleeting Expertise because you actually want that power duration. But flow? It's not like we're playing against sentience all the time. Ah crap! It's not like we're playing against sentience all the time where if you kill them you every so often get this drop that gives you all your energy back. If we were doing that then yeah flow is really good. But at that point then it basically answers my main question which is do you have a way of getting all your energy back really, really quickly. If you do, then yeah, use flow, definitely. No, protect the site. Wait, am I? Oh no, I'm not. But if you don't, I don't know. It seems pointless. I don't think Banshee is underrated per se. I actually think. I don't know, I don't I don't think he I don't think she's I think she's legitimately in a bit of a bit of a bad spot. Specifically because abilities that I'm pretty sure were meant to be damage abilities aren't exactly doing a lot of damage against uh, higher level, level 100 types. What is it sucking in? Okay. My Kuva! You're messing up all my plans. I don't like it. Not one bit. Good work, Tenno. We need to do everything we can to stop the Queens from powering any more Kuva. What are the best ways to gain back energy? <coughs> Vacuum. <coughs> Fuck you, AGGP. It's vacuum. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, otherwise, playing with particular support warframes like Trinity, Garuda, being a rage tank is a really good way of getting energy back. Um, <clears throat> if mags pull other part of pool actually worked, that would be a great way of getting energy back. Certain augments are really good ways of getting energy back. No vacuum. Hold on. Explain. Was I not paying attention? What the hell? How did I die as bloody Garuda just then? Oh, 
Oh, actually, you know what? No, there is one. There is one and only one legitimately real legitimate, not exactly legitimate, but still kind of legitimate reason to go no vacuum. And that's for that new energizing shot thing. Because the idea with... Where the hell's my cat? Because the idea with that is that if you shoot uh, an energy orb before it gets vacuumed up, you do end up getting like a lot... You do always get guaranteed uh, plus 110% um, extra energy, so that's pretty good. Yeah, energizing shot. Look, listen, energizing shot is the only legitimate reason to not use vacuum. I will grant you that. That is a fair. That's fair enough. That is a very. That's fair enough. <clears throat> uh, I want to make sure that I can always use friggin' um, uh, uh, I can energize. No, that's not a legitimate point. That's stupid. And even then, with energizing shot, I would still say, well, uh, energy pieces are still here. And you can make 10 of them. Ah, uh, sorry, 100 of them. So, unless you're hampering for polymer bundles, I think you need? So, unless you're hampering for them, they're there. They're always there. The reactor is going into stasis. What if you now use a cavat? Ah, uh, it's called sabotage. fetch. Use whatever you can to make sure it never works again. Coolant cell extracted. What the hell did I just do? Yo, Mercy, stop dying. A fuel cell has been placed in the Wait, Mercy died over there? What in the, the hell? Reactor will produce hazardous magnetic activity. I get really bored, that's my main reason. Right, okay, that's a, that's a new one. Hashtag real talk, this is meant to be a looter shooter, so I don't know. I personally don't like, I'll rather universal vacuum. That is a good, that is a good thing to prefer. <clears throat> Here's the thing though, when it comes to energizing shot and all that jazz, imagine if you were playing Hildren, or if you had someone playing Hildren. You'd be inundated with energy orbs, you'd be like, I can't do it, how, how do I hold all of these energy orbs? There'll be too many energy orbs. Gotta love Hildren. most enjoyable depends on how you enjoy it depends on how you enjoy it all warframes are enjoyable oh to some extent I don't think Excalibur is all that good yeah that's gonna yeah I don't think Excalibur is all that good you, you think they should rework PvP nah um nah I don't think so. I don't think they should get rid of it because there's evidently people who still play it, like single digit possibly, but there's still people who play it, so you know what? Screw it, let them. It's not like. I mean, unless it's hilariously overbroken or something like that, but it's not like. Uh, but to answer the question for Freddy. The most fun Warframe. Depending on how you define... Depending on what you find fun. 
is literally whatever Warframe that you acclimate the motor. That's a cop-out answer. For me, it's mag. Which literally is my, well, literally my cop-out answer. The Warframe that you find yourself acclimating to, the Warframe that you find yourself going back to all the damn time. No matter what, even when like a super duper awesome brand new Warframe that is like hilarious and good and cool to use, that has a nice smooth motion of some sort, whose abilities work well with each other. That's great. And every time there's a new Warframe, like I get the feeling I'm going to be playing with Protea quite a lot. Because I feel like her abilities are going to be pretty dope. But. Within a week, I will go back to Mag. I tried. I, I, I spent... I, I tried to get away from Mag, if that makes sense. An entire month, more or less, where I tried to be an Avara main. Back to Mag! <laughs> it's not that neat. And it's not because the Warframes that I tried to play are bad. Ivara is a good Warframe. In most circumstances, if you're getting shot to death, then yeah, no, she's not a good, particularly good at that. But, she is a good Warframe. Garuda is a good Warframe. Volban, good Warframe. But, the Warframe that I have the most fun with is, and always will be, Mag. And I don't think that's going to ever change. I don't know why. Maybe there's a bit of sunk cost fallacy involved, because after all, I did put Seventh Warmer in her. The but but yeah, the most fun Warframe in the game is the one that you go back to the most, for obvious reasons. <coughs> some people get back. Some people acclimate to Nidus. Um, Nidus. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm racist now. Some people. Some people acclimate themselves to Inaros. Some people say that Inaros is their favorite Warframe, and I guess then when they go to another Warframe, eventually they come back to Inaros. I don't understand that because I think Inaros is extremely boring. But if they enjoy him the most, then that is the most fun Warframe to them. Makes no sense to me, but they're not me, so who, who the fuck cares? You know? I'm not gonna sit here and tell you, uh, guys, the only the best Warframe and the only one that makes sense, the only Warframe that you should care about is um, is Excalibur Umbra. This is the only Warframe, and if you don't like Excalibur Umbra, you're shit. No, no, that's not how anything works. Uh, that being said, though, I will say if you think Titania is boring, have you given her enough of a chance? <coughs> My chroma is better than any Anaris. <laughs> um, did any of you? How many of you watched the Hildren video, the Hildren grading video? Because I did say something in that video that had to do with Anaris. Hildren is possibly more survivable than Anaris. Yeah, that's right. I said it. Hildren is probably more survivable than an Aris. A thousand percent. I'm, I'm actually, you know what, no, I'm calling it. I think Hildren is tankier than an Aris. <laughs> oh, but kind of gory, why is that the case? I may have explained it in the, vid in the Hildren video, but just <coughs> to reiterate. The reason why Hildren is the reason why Hildren is tankier than uh, Inaros is because Hildren has access to two uh, arcanes to do with her shields, whereas Banshee is tankier than Hildren. Damn, that is a bold claim. Um, not just Arcane Barrier, Arcane Barrier and Arcane Aegis, because because Hildren tends to have. Three and a half thousand shield. Arcane Aegis has so many opportunities to proc, and when it happens, you are invulnerable for that time, for that period of time. You're basically unkillable outside of like um, toxin damage. And Slash doesn't go through shields anymore. That's right. That's right. Whereas, so like, you have 
the Chad Hildren, right? Whereas the Virgin Inaros, what does he have? The only arcane that is useful for him is Arcane Grace. And <laughs> the Virgin the the the, the Virgin Inaroses don't get to do double Arcane Grace anymore. <laughs> The amount of people who complained about Double Arcane Grace no longer being a thing. Like, sure, granted, he has an ability that makes him invulnerable. Oh, wow, whoop de fucking do who cares? Right? And yeah, he has one ability that makes him uh, that makes him invulnerable and heals him. He has another ability that makes him heal as well, if you decide to use it that way. I don't think anyone does. He has another ability that could effectively heal him through his passive. He has another ability that could effectively heal him if he has people under his second ability. Sure, fine, okay, but... <clears throat> Hildren literally just stands there and doesn't die. I'm gonna go with Hildren. <laughs> uh, Arcane Victory is pretty good, yeah. I can't remember if Arcane Victory is uh, a number-based thing or if it's a um, no, it's not a number-based thing. It's a it's a thingo-based thing, isn't it? It's a portion-based thing, isn't it? Where's Victory? Where the hell is my Arcane Victory? Arcane Energize, Arcane Pistolier, Rage, Victory. Ha! Huh. Oh no, it is a it oh oh it is a portion thing. Oh okay, it is a portion thing. Hell yeah. Lazy gameplay. That's right. Lazy gameplay, but that does mean that Heldren is tankier than Inaros. So, uh, yeah. Um, are Levan, are Levan engines better? You'll find out tomorrow morning. Mm hmm I actually did a video comparing the two, so that's coming tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, Sydney time. <coughs> <coughs> Why is everyone talking now? Because we actually have 16 people watching the, the stream. Which, um, for context, is um, a lot a, a lot higher than usual. Normally, um, normally a stream of my size barely breaks double digits. But I find that if I've been streaming for about two hours, I do not like the- Hey, hang hey, 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 hey. I do not like lazy gameplay. That's why I don't play Hildren. That's why I don't play Inaros all that much. I will be doing more frame reviews, don't worry, that's happening. I try to keep that to one a week, but this week, uh, this this weekend rather, I kind of just want to take a break from doing anything particularly hardcore, because I just finished the first trimester of the, the master's degree, so I kind of want to just chill back for a bit. I will probably do a frame review during the week. Yeah, I... Have you ever noticed? Have you ever seen me play Anaros, DJ? Have you ever seen me play Anaros? I don't, and I don't even play Nidus. Nidus is actually pretty good for a Warframe because he's not like brain dead easy, fall asleep kind of stuff. But I don't play him either. I don't. <clears throat> what else to do? I mean, if there's twenty of us, anyone wanna? react and discuss a video that exists on the internet <laughs> something worth talking about I don't know I mean I'm I'll do those but I don't really have anything in on in mind all right we're gonna burn through a couple of these things <clears throat> is any intrinsic level 10 worth getting yes there are two specifically two that are definitely worth- Oh, yeah. There's two that are worth getting. Let me show you. Where's my bloody intrinsics? Oh, it's hidden behind the chat. Level 10 Tactical is really, really good. Level 10 Tactical is how you can be in your ship. And let's say you have an ally who's totally new to the game. Um, <clears throat> let's say you have an ally who's completely new to the game, is in the objective, and doesn't know what to do. You can then join them and help them out. If they're in the um, thing, if they're in a cruise ship and they're struggling, and they're hiding behind like a couple of a couple of boxes. If they're hiding behind a couple of boxes, being like, "Dude, these guys are like level 80s, man. I can't fight them." That's fine. You can join them and you can help them out. It's great, awesome. In Scarspear, I used Join Warp 
all the damn time because in Scarspia, they go into the um, they go into the Murex, they put down their thing, they're waiting, they're looking at you, being like, "Hey, dude, if you put down your um, if you put down your uplink thing, uh, as well, we can actually do this faster." That's fine. Join warp, drop it, and then get the hell out. So tactical level 10 is super duper useful. And then there's also engineering level 10. Anastasis. I haven't pulled out my Omni tool in bloody years. <laughs> Actually, I may have pulled it out like this more this like recently, like a couple of hours ago. But I don't pull out my Omni tool anymore. If there's a breach, if there's a fire, if there's a minor breach, open the tactical map, click on it, move the hell on. So yeah, engineering level 10, tactical level 10, definitely worth getting. Piloting level 10. It's a bit weird. Um, gunnery level 10. Oh, gunnery level 10. I haven't actually used it yet. Let's give it a go. I haven't actually used it yet. I don't know what this is. I don't actually don't know what this is. Let's find out. Let's find out what this gunnery level 10 is actually going to be. We're going to play... We're gonna play, um, screw it, let's play solo. Many, many We're gonna play solo. Let's see what happens if we use gunnery level 10 because I've actually never used it. Here we go. Guy and point. Hell yeah. As if things can't get any easier, we're gonna be able to do, like, just, what's that, straight lock on snapping? What the hell is that? Um. That being said, I think level 10 uh, intrinsics for um, Railjack should actually be something a little bit more interesting. Something that can um, actually turn Railjack into a non-content island thing. Does that make sense? Let's find out what this actually is. So, here we go. And defensive units will negatively impact enemy cohesion. We are on Temporary the snap on onto the lock-on thing. So that's why Rahatelia has kept doing this. Wait, can anyone confirm or deny that Rahatelia has 10-10, uh, has level 10 gunnery? Can anyone confirm or deny that? Because I saw in one of his videos, he kept doing this. He kept doing this. Does he have level 10 gunnery? Is that the reason why he's doing that? Signature. Crew ship. The enemy have reinforced. It's kind of shit, if you ask me. And also, for viewers... Oh, that's debilitating, man. <laughs> you want you want your viewers to get airsick? You do that. You reckon Rahatelius doesn't have level 10 gunnery? If he doesn't have level 10 gunnery, why the hell does he keep doing this? He, he does that, and he did that in one of his videos. And I'm just like, dude, why are you doing that? You're literally making your entire audience just want to, just want to, like, have a seizure or something. Like, it's, <laughs> it's, it's bad viewing, my dude. But if he doesn't have level 10, and if he doesn't have level 10 gunnery, Ratalius, please stop doing that, man. It, it's, it's, doing this is it's bad viewing, my dude. It's, ser seriously, it's bad viewing. He's not that dumb. He's not... <clears throat> Brozine. Um, he's not that... Come on. Sometimes he's wrong. So he's not like the pinnacle of... He's not like the pinnacle of good information. But he's not that dumb. Come on. I'm not doing that. I will tell you right now. I am not doing... Reflex aim. I'm never gonna use it. <laughs> I'm never gonna use it. So, if you ask me, I think level 10 gunnery is really, really bad. I think level 10 gunnery is really, really bad. Uh, but like I said, I think all level 10 avionics should be... Avionics? What am I saying? I think all level 10 intrinsics should be something that can make can can turn railjack from being a content island that it kind of currently is into something that is not a content island who's out of me what the hell because then things could get really really cool <coughs> i 
Is this guy, um, in the chat? Is this guy in the chat? Just wanna know. I just wanna know. Is this guy in the chat? <laughs> I mean, I'll add you. And if you need help with something, I'll help you out, but... Are you in the chat? Um... Alright, moving on. Sapmatix. I don't watch Sapmatix. Who is my favorite of the fellow- Who is my favorite fellow content creator? <laughs> you mean after the Railjack fiasco? <laughs> I bloody hate all of them. <laughs> um... Tactical Potato is fine. Of all the, of all the content creators, Tactical Potato is actually fine. He seems to be on the ball for the most part. Uh, again, I think Re I think Rattalius is mostly most of the time on the ball. Um, but otherwise, the others, oh, they're disappointing. That's what I reckon. Okay. Oh, that's right. I've got to finish my bloody night waves. Let's finish those night waves then. Um, we'll start off with a disruption. Ooh, should probably put some. Should probably put. Some, oh, you know what? I haven't played this dude in a very, very long time. Oh, yeah, I haven't played this chick in a very, <clears throat> very long time. Not Banshee. Just sorry to get your hopes up. Not Banshee. I'm talking about Ember. <laughs> Why can you stop that guy? You can't play the. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, moving on. Alright, Ember. I'm trying to do some capture missions in 90 seconds. Any recommendations? Okay. Here's my recommendation. Are you ready? This is my recommendation. Where the hell is she? That's my recommendation. This is my recommendation. Titania, Kuva Brahma. This is what you do. Titania, jump into Razor Wing. Uh, and you're using you're using Razor Wing Blitz. Jump into Razor Wing, use four abilities, you're flying really fast, fly to your target. Then jump out of Razor Wing because unfortunately the tap to target is immune to your bloody Dex Pixia. Use the Kuva Brahma because it's super duper easy brain dead mode. Shoot him, shoot him, capture him, and then guess what? Hey uh, hey DJ, um Titania is actually faster than Goss. <laughs> Titania is faster than Goss. Shoot him, capture him, jump back to Titania, use four abilities, and then fly all the way into um, the uh, extraction. That's it, done! Oh, Woo! Well Easy mode. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, now I was saying I was going to use, um, use Oberon and Hema. Oof, that's possibly the <laughs> slowest way! <laughs> Why would you do this to yourself though? Alright, let's see. Healing Flame, Exothermic. Sounds good! Luxpur, hell yeah! You better stop. Stop what? I like guys and. <sighs> Quiet Shallow is a bit of a meme artist, that's fine. But I feel like she's I feel like she's still 100 percent wrong when it comes to Railjack. And that's the main that's the main issue that I have with a lot of the content creators these days. They're hundred percent wrong about Railjack. <clears throat> so, you know. Well not hundred percent, like fifty percent. <laughs> no idea how I made it without even trying. <laughs> anyway. Uh DJ, chill out mate. It's fine. We gotta kill them with a heavy head weapon, so... 
Piss off, General? operative. And our calls? Where's the other one? Watch the oh, where's the other systems. one? Rail dashes need to be put in the right place. Uh, yeah, if you're saying that Railjet just needs to not be a content island anymore, yeah, I fully agree. That's basically the only problem with it. Even before Railjet bloody revisited, that was, to me, that was the only problem with it. Was that it was a bloody content island. That's the, that's it. Oh, and then there was like a couple of Rail, uh, there was a couple of battle avionics things that I would like to change, a couple of tactical avionics things I would like to change, none of which outside of the Seeker Volley thing got changed. So, you know. How do I easily level up an arc gun? Not Salacia. Uh, basically the same way you easily uh, up upgrade any other weapon. Hydron. Because they're uh, available as heavy weapons. Hydron. So how would you normally level up a weapon in Hydron? You bring a support warframe so that you're not called a bloody leech. Uh, you crack open your heavy weapon, like so, and then you just stand there, and you'll very quickly level it up. Like when you switch to a different planet and it could still be an island. What are you talking about? Sorry, I must be very confused by that particular statement. <coughs> I'm just gonna slash block out of that. Wait, did I legit just get a slash proc out of that? That's weird. I got my first void hole yesterday. Nice! Well done. Well done, buddy. Well done. I have a grab mag, but do I just need to put Wait, what? I have a grab a mag, do I need to put a catalyst on it? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Um Typically a typically any build nowadays uses a uh, catalyst reactor. So yeah. Larkspur build? <laughs> Bit shit. It's you think my Wisp build is generic? My Luxbow build is probably even more generic. It's not Max. Your arc gun before you. Well, even if it's not Max, I tend to put him. Uh, I tend to put a catalyst or a reactor on everything, so that's how I roll. Sorry everyone, cover your eyes. I don't even have a build for him. <laughs> yeah. According to All Blade, Ox Spur is still pretty bad in uh <clears throat> in uh Railjack. That's that's kind of unfortunate. Then again, when it comes to Arcwing and Railjack, I think Arcwing is still not particularly good in Railjack. I think some more buffs could be used. Some something, something could be used for Arcwing, because especially the fact that cruise ships still kind of one shot you. you have broken their ranks. It's a bit crap. Kind of still drives this whole meta of people using freaking Mesha. Um, it's a bit sad. When you switch to a different planet, you play Railjack to get to that planet. Uh, uh, yeah, um, okay, now I know what you're talking about. Yeah, there was a thing that was floated by, like, Angry Joe at some point, like, when they actually showed off Railjack in, um, Terracon. The idea was that, like, in order to get to one, in order to get to another planet, you literally had to fly there with your Railjack. I'm up for that. 
<clears throat> everyone on the subreddit would fucking re out of their minds. But yeah, I'm up for that, man. We fought with honor. Yeah, you know what I would like? I think this might be like end game for DE. Not end game as in like it's a difficult game for everyone. End game as in like this is what Railjack would probably eventually end up being. I think this is what DE wants to do. Is that like when you fly this I think this is what I, what they want to do. When you fly to a new planet, your railjack kind of hovers around that planet and there would be like different entry points in order to start different missions. So let's say for example when we're on Earth, there might be a bunch of solar rail solar rails? Mm, yeah, let's say solar rails. There might be a bunch of space elevators or solar rails or shit like that. If you wanna start the capture mission, you park your railjack there. You can you can choose to just park your railjack there, or if you jump to your orbiter, you you can then just like pick the missions by yourself. Otherwise, if you want to do it the railjack way, then for example, it'd be like this: here we are right now in our orbiter. We could just go to our map. Here, let's say we're uh, we're on Mars. Let's say we want to go to Mars. We want to do one of the missions. If we're in the orbiter, we could just do the mission as is. Or if we want to do it via the railjack, what we could do is we could maybe like board the railjack right now board the railjack right now and then like actually pilot the bloody thing fly around let's say that ship over there if we go to that ship if we attack that ship and then we actually like jump in there that starts a mission i think that's like the end game idea for uh railjack The amount of resources that would be required to do that would be absolutely f fucking massive, which is probably why it's going to take like a few years for that to ever come to fruition, but I'm keen. I'm keen for it. So, you know. In the meantime, I have... In the meantime, I've actually come up with four ideas to make uh, Railjack less of a... less of a content island. But I'm not going to tell you until I actually make a video on it, so, you know. <laughs> Operator, the system needs you. One second, I need a drink. You begin another mission. How many bloody more enemies do I need to kill? Always a pleasure. Three more missions. <laughs> I'm only halfway there. God damn it. Alright. Another extermination mission. Kinda wanna do it solo. Big question. Big question. If I run around with Umbra, I can run around with Umbra and have him carry the. Th I can have him run around as. I can run around as. Hang on. I can run around as Umbra and have him carry the Luxbur, right? <laughs> I think I can do that. And then I'm just gonna literally like run around as the operator. Let's do that. Goss? Nah, fuck him. Fuck Goss. <laughs> I don't really care about goss. <gasps> ah, let's just do that. Oh, 
Oh, sorry. So do I need the grabber mag only or do I need an Oricon catalyst? Because when I go to put the grabber mag, it says I need a catalyst. So you should probably put the catalyst on. That's usually the you best idea. Clean this area up. Search for the source of the infestation and exterminate it. It is time. Umbra, you failed me again. <laughs> you failed me again. Ah, damn it, not only... Come on, buddy. Come on, Papa Bear. Not only do you... <clears throat> kind of need a buff against this bloody sentience, but... Can't even hold on to a goddamn thing. Come on, buddy. Jeez. Equinox, let's do it. Oof. Why do I get the feeling that if I ever do an Equinox grade video, it's gonna be like a 40 minute bloody thing. <laughs> and she's gonna end up being like an easy 10 out of 10 Warframe. Actually, she would be, wouldn't she? Yeah, she would be. Yeah, Equinox would be an easy 10 out of 10. Need to clean this area up. Like, it would be, it wouldn't even be, like, and exterminate it. it would be like, a little, it would be ridiculous. Okay, let's get a let's get a rough idea. When it comes to Equinox, do you think I should do separate videos for day and night, or do you reckon I should just put her put both of them together? Because if I do both of them together, it's gonna be an easy ten out of ten slam dunk. Either either high ten or high nine. I'm a lot Couldn't trust the grade activity. system if she was 11 out of 10. I mean, I get, I feel like she'd be like an 18 out of 20, 18 out of 10. <laughs> like she might be, she might not be slam dunk 10 out of 10. She might be slam dunk 9 out of 10, or she might actually be slam dunk 10 out of 10. I don't know, but she most certainly would not be lower than 8. Like that's that's 100 for damn sure. She's not missing anything. And it's really just like, how well would you grade everything? And not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna grade everything like high. High 9, high 10, possibly. Cause like, you wanna, you wanna balance Warframe that's good at everything. <laughs> the freaking Equinox! <laughs> like she hasn't, like if you put, if you put both day and night together, is she actually missing anything? Does she not have like an actually complete set? Like where would she look with her awkward for her four makes her ten out of ten allowing you to utilize Yeah, exactly! The enemy is broken. Well done. No no no, not just that. There's okay. So like normally how I do the thing, okay, here is where you lose, here's where Equinox loses just one point, kit usability. Specifically because duality is kind of useless without like, like, oh hang on, hang on, let me think. Duality is useful, but the whole, the bonuses that you get from duality, hashtag real talk, I don't really care about them. Outside of maybe the speed one. And even then I don't really care about it. So I don't know. That's my that's my opinion. So you kind of lose one point, just one, just one. But, oh, let me think. Damage. Duality is really good damage. Um. Duality is really good damage. Day mode has bloody maim, so that's obviously really good damage. Can do more damage <laughs> with her. Thing. Well, actually, that's more of a support thing. Can do more damage. Yeah, that's it. 10 out of 10. Survivability. Can heal. Can get more shields. 9, let's say. Um. <laughs> Crowd control. <laughs> Sleep. That's it. That's all you need. Sleep. Done. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Support can heal people. Can heal people. Can't exactly give people energy though. Can't exactly give people armor. Nine. I probably say no can give people shields. 
can get can heal people can give people shields that's probably like a hard nine in much the same way that oberon is a is a nine because i think if you want to be a 10 you've got to be able to give people energy i think i think that's the only way you can get it i feel like that's the only way uh, that's the only way i've given people 10 i think heal objective give power strength oh yeah there is that there is that what did i give held uh, what did i give hildren let me check actually written it I, I actually write this stuff down Hildren I've given her a 9 out of 10 and even oh that was just because she gives shields okay I gave I gave Hildren a 9 out of 10 I think I would have to give her a 9 out of 10 so that's <coughs> let's see Will you begin another mission? 10 plus 10 damage T uh, I think 10 survivability 10 survivability Wait, did I say 10 No, I think I said 9. 10 damage, 9 survivability, 9 support. Oh, can slow down folks. Yeah, good good point. Yeah, can slow down folks. But just sleep alone is kind of a 10 out of 10 already because it's... My, uh, the way I say uh, uh, crowd control is 10 out of 10. If you could do AoE, reasonably large, reasonably large radius AoE hard stun ability that's it that's basically 10 out of 10 crowd control there's really nothing else you there's really nothing else that needs to be done that's why uh that's why uh limbo's 10 out of 10 that's why rhino would be 10 out of 10 that's why i guess equinox would be 10 out of 10 that's why to uh, mag would not be 10 out of 10 actually oh no mag would be yeah mag would also be 10 out of 10 yeah There'd be a lot of warframes that have 10 out of 10 crowd control. Well, not a lot. There'd be a handful of warframes that, have, that, have, that would have 10 out of 10 crowd control. The main thing then is like, do the other stats come together or is it all just a giant meme? Uh, so 10 out of 10, there. Um, okay, cool. And the kit usability, I think, is a nine is in the sense that there's just one, it's just that one thing about duality or, duality? There's that one thing about her first ability that I just, find pointless like find meaningless which is that whole passive thing to do with a uh, metamorphosis that's right the whole extra shield thing is kind of meaningless the whole speed thing is cute but otherwise kind of meaningless like you wouldn't really go out of it um energy energy transfer must be built in and work with both channel ability oh crap i forgot oh i forgot that's right I tend to take a point off for I tend to oh that's that's right I tend to also take a point off when it comes to augments like thing as in like if 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 an ability can do something if if an ability by itself can't do something but then can do something because of an augment you I would then treat it as if it can do something with that augment as if it can do something anyway but then take a point off just kind of arbitrarily for the fact that it has to be an augment so that's why Mag would end up probably being a 9 out of 10 for the most part. Uh, Equinox might actually still be a 10 out of 10. I don't know. How would I rate Goss? <clears throat> Just off the top of my head. Let's have a look. Also, by the way, I'm about to have dinner, so we'll probably be wrapping up today. Real soon. Goss. Let's have a quick look. What can Goss do? Let's start off with damage. What can Goss do? He can strip armor, so that's really high. He can strip armor. I th uh, he can strip armor. He can buff his weapon's fire rate. So that's really good. Uh, I think that's it, really. Right? Strip armor and buff his armor. Uh, buff his um, damage. Uh, buff his weapons. That's probably like a solid eight. Thereabouts. That's probably like a solid eight. So let's um <clears throat> let's get the calculator out wrap my one so yeah it's probably a solid eight on the damage side now on survivability kinetic plating is fucking hilarious but i will take like one point ah oh, do i take one point or two points off wait what did i give for um what's her face i gotta take like one or two points off specifically because it's only against physical damage 
i.e. IPS, Heat Cold Blast. So you're still vulnerable to things like toxin damage, you're still vulnerable to things like radiation damage, so radiation sorties, uh, particular elemental sorties, those things you're still vulnerable to, so that takes that that tends to lose points. So unless you can think of a way to be completely a hundred completely damage resistant to those, gonna be taking a couple of points off for that. <coughs> uh in much the same way that I think it was Zephyr. What did I give for Zephyr? I gave her a seven. Can Goss heal himself? I don't think Goss can heal himself. Ah! Oh. He does heat damage. Oh. Oh! Is that heat damage a lot? I don't know. One sec. Do 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 do. Anti top. <laughs> yeah, anti toxin mod, sure, but like, uh. Um. Sure, but like, ugh. At some point. Need more details. Hey, can you just like put it in a random comment somewhere? It's It'll be easier for me to find it later on. Like, just find a video or a community post. Just say, hey, by the way, here's a thing. Uh, here's a... Um, thing, I th thing I think I know. Here's a Banshee build. Try it out. And then at some point, maybe, uh, one day I'll be like, Oh, this video was brought to you by this build. Uh, this vi uh, this comment. Uh, hey, everyone, I'm, I'm gonna have a look at this Banshee build that someone showed me. Um, let's see how it goes. Etc, etc. Um... Anyway, that's probably a solid eight, or I gave I gave Zephyr a seven. I'd probably be giving Goss a seven on the sub. Oh no, eight. I'll give her, I'll give her, give him an eight. Yeah, eight. So that's eight on the damage, eight on the thing and thing. I think <clears throat> Eight on the damage, eight on the thing. I think oh. Crowd control. He can knock people down with that. Is that it? Oh no, he can do that too. He can kind of... He can do AoE cold proc. AoE... Hard stun. Is that a hard stun? Blast damage. AoE knockdown. Maybe like an 8. Probably. Um... Uh, that's crowd control. Support. What the hell can you do for support though? Can he help his allies in some way? The re the holster speed, all that jazz. Mark Rush doesn't actually help his allies. Kinetic plating doesn't help his allies. Seven cast of cold. Ah! Oh, and 100% it's AoE cold proc, so that's freezing. Okay, that's a 10 then. <laughs> that's probably a 10. I'm off the top of my head. Support. What the hell does he have for support, though? Probably nothing. Just eyeballing it. <laughs> That's gonna be a zero, folks! Uh, kit usability. I actually don't mind anything. I think everything is fine. Solid 10. Just eyeballing it. He's probably a 7 out of 10 Warframe, guys. <laughs> That's where augments come in. Does He doesn't have any augments, does he? Does he? Wait, does he? Does he have augments? I actually don't know. Does he? Wait, did I say 36 or? 36. Ooh! Just barely making it to the 8 out of 10 range. Which is like, average. Goss, where the hell are you? Uh, abilities. Goss doesn't have augments, does he? Nope. Okay, yeah, Goss, solid 8 out of 10. Um, or barely 8 out of 10, I would say. Anyway, that's it. He helps by killing. <laughs> he helps by killing everything in the game. Yeah, the Mesa is a support Warframe. Okay, everyone, I'm gonna call it a day. Dinner time. Gotta eat. All that jazz. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you like this video, why do I keep saying that? 
when I'm streaming. Hope you guys enjoy this. If you like this stream, hit that like button. Uh, subscribe for more Warframe content, as always. If you completely disagree with my goss off the top of my head rating, let me know why. Otherwise, hope you guys enjoy this. If you like this, why do I keep on thinking I'm saying video? Hope you guys enjoy this. And wow, this ending is completely buffed, scuffed. I'll see you guys later. Bye.